Today we'll be dropping 8 GPS guided weapons on 8 separate targets in one pass. I'm going to assume you know the basics of using JDAMs and JSALs, and I will move quickly. You can see my JDAM and JSAL tutorials linked on screen or in the description. This is not exactly a typical practical mission loadout, but there's no denying how cool it is to wipe out 8 separate targets all at once. This applies to both JDAMs and JSALs as functionally they work the same, just with different maximum ranges. There is significant setup required so it's best employed against static targets however. If you are struggling to use dual mount GPS bombs this will cover everything you need to know. So load up with either 8 JDAMs or 8 JSALs by using double mounts and let's get started. There are two ways to go about doing this, simultaneous, pre-planned and target of opportunity series attacks. We'll also cover an extra way to use TOO mode for two simultaneous targets. The first is by setting up eight target waypoints. This is best done in the mission editor. Ensure that the waypoints are all set on the ground altitude. You can also do this in game if you wish and you can see my detailed tutorial on manually creating precise waypoints linked on screen or in the description. With our eight target waypoints set, we'll set up our JDAMs in TOO, target of opportunity mode, set fuses and let the weapon align. Now we simply select our first target waypoint select Weapon Designate from the HSI and fly a normal JDAM attack by flying towards our waypoint. Once we get into range we need to move fairly quickly. Press the pickle button to release our first bomb and now quickly cycle to our next waypoint, Waypoint Designate, check we are within range and TOO mode, pickle and then repeat this process until you're out of bombs. Simple. But intensive during the drop. Remember that all targets need to be reasonably close to each other so they're all within range at the same time. The second method is to use pre-planned mode. Again, we'll need coordinates for each individual target, however we can only enter this in-game, so get ready to enter in a lot of coordinates. We'll need them in the format of degrees, minutes, seconds, decimal seconds. We can get coordinates from the F10 map and cycle the coordinate format type with left alt and Y. I would recommend you write these coordinates down on some paper. Alternatively, we need to source the coordinates from elsewhere, such as a targeting pod or JTAC support. With coordinates in hand, we'll select our weapon, pre-plan mode, views, and then enter our display page. Go down to quantity and select all four stations. We'll now select our mission page. This is where things get a little confusing, each station has two bombs loaded, so we need to give each station two pre-planned targets. We can see our selected station on the top left, and the list of pre-planned targets saved onto it, so let's break it all down. We'll set up each station with two targets, that means each station will have pre-planned 1 and pre-planned 2 with targets set. So we'll set up target 1 and 2 on station 2 into pre-planned 1 and 2, and then on station 3 we'll set targets 3 and 4, station 7, targets 5 and 6, and finally station 8 with targets 7 and 8. And this will take a little while to do. Once we're done, step through all our stations and ensure Piri Plan 1 is selected on every single station. It is important to remember that each station has its own set of pre-planned targets. The double mount stations share their pre-planned targets between its two bombs. So you must manually select a new pre-planned target after dropping the first bomb from that station. There is currently no way to configure your second bomb on the pylon until after the first bomb has dropped. This may change in the future however. So we're now configured to drop four bombs, one from each station, all set to pre-planned one which will cover targets one, three, five and seven. Simply fly into range and release our weapons. This will drop four bombs. We need to now select the target for the second bomb on each station. To do this, we'll have to step through each station and select pre-planned target two. With all stations reassigned to pre-planned target two, we'll press pickle again. This gives us two salvos of four bombs, each with their own individual target. There is one last method for dropping multiple bombs in one pass. However, at the moment it's limited to just two targets. Target Opportunity Mode does have two targets available, however, unlike pre-planned mode, these are global across the entire aircraft. 
I do not know if this will change, giving us two targets per pylon or not in the future, but for now, we've got two targets of opportunity stored globally. We can use this to attack two targets of opportunity in one pass. This works really well in conjunction with the targeting pod. You simply need to set up your JDAMs, select quantity, two stations, and go to the MSN page, and then select TOO mode and TOO1. We will then aim our targeting pod at the first target and press TDC depress. You will see TOO1 will inherit our target. Press undesignate, and now we'll select TOO2, and then aim our targeting pod onto our second target. Once again, press TDC depress to designate, and then press undesignate once more. If you do not press undesignate, you'll risk accidentally overwriting your targets. We'll now select TOO1 on our first station and TOO2 on our second, then simply run in. We don't have a point designated, so we won't get any steering cues on our HUD, so make use of your HSI and the in-range queue on your HUD. Pickle your bombs when you're in range. Remember, this is limited to just two targets, as we only get two targets in total shared across the entire aircraft. This may change in the future. If it does, we'll be able to drop up to eight targets in one pass, just like we can with pre-planned mode. Lastly, TOO mode can also inherit our designated waypoint, if you wish to, by pressing waypoint designate on the HSI, undesignate, and then select the second TOO, and designate again. The behaviour of JDAMs and JSALs is up in the air for the moment, with a new update probably coming in the next few months, so keep this in mind going forwards. Be sure to check the channel for future updated tutorials on JDAMs and JSALs. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.